Can we go now to Rosie Barton, uh, who is in Ottawa? What have you got there, Rosie? Well, a few things. Uh, I, I should say that world reaction has also started to pour in from uh, the Prime Minister of the UK, the President of France, Angela Merkel, the Chancellor of Germany. And I, and I point that out because there is now really sort of international consensus uh, and agreement with these results, which I, I do think will make it uh, more difficult for Donald Trump if he were to put up any kind of intense fight about eventually leaving. So uh, that's important to note that, that we were one of the first out of the gate, but, but other countries have now followed suit and congratulated the president-elect. And then the other bit of reaction I wanted to bring you uh, is from Alberta Premier Jason Kenney. And the reason this is important, of course, is because Joe Biden, uh, as we've talked about so many times, has said that he is not in favor of the Keystone XL uh, pipeline running uh, from Alberta down to Nebraska. That's something that Donald Trump authorized a permit for and Joe Biden has said that he would pull it. Um, so uh, Jason Kenney also congratulating the president-elect, but making a point that U.S. energy security is dependent on Alberta, he says, and that they look forward to working with the transition team and future administration to ensure that this vital economic partnership continues. So laying down some markers there. Um, uh, about what he is hoping uh, he will be able to do in terms of perhaps convincing the president-elect that this is a pipeline uh, worth continuing with. Certainly, it is It is in the process of being constructed. So there are some people that felt that perhaps they could convince the president-elect that getting rid of jobs at a time like this would not be a good move. Uh, but that is a, a burning issue for this country and, and could perhaps create some friction between uh, the premier of Alberta and this prime minister. And, and I'll leave you with one last thought about um, immigration policy, too, which I think is an important one as well. We saw uh, as Donald Trump um, started to you know, talk about a Muslim ban, started to talk about who he was going to let in from the southern border uh, between the U.S. and Mexico, um, that that's when many refugees arrived at our borders, at Roxham Road in Quebec, in Manitoba, and in other places. Um, and that obviously put a severe strain on our immigration system uh, and a political strain on how how we would deal with this because we did have to take in these people. Um, so that's another sort of thing, a, a, a bump in the road that, that sort of gets removed now. These are not the kind of immigration policies that Joe Biden would even fathom. Um, and while certainly there might be people that still want to come, it won't be like that. Um, and that's just one example of dozens of examples uh, that, that where Donald Trump's policies had sort of an indirect knock-on effect on, on us just because of where we are. Um, so some of those headaches are, are gone, and you can well imagine that that is, that is a, a huge sigh of relief for this government and for people trying to figure out how, you know, how they would move forward if they had to deal with we another four years of Donald Israeli Trump. So just some of the reaction and, and some of the thoughts that people are probably having today. Oh, Rosie, thank you. That's very, very helpful. Thank you. You bet.